see Hosier in a couple of months. Kookaburras, how are you? Welcome back to another week in my life. This is like weekly vlog 189. That's freaking mental, mental. I've been vlogging my life for four years. You guys have been seeing my mundane everyday life for four years now. And if you've stuck with me, congratulate, like, congratulations. Hello, it's editing Emma on the day you're watching this. I had a bit of a problem with my camera the past couple of weeks. Its focus has been on the wonk. I've fixed it now. So the first few clips of this vlog are completely out of focus. And I would have scrapped it because of it, but I didn't post the vlog last week. So I'm sorry, please ignore it. It does get better later on in the vlog. Thank you, love you. So I didn't post the vlog last weekend. I started editing it and I was a bit just like underwhelmed by it, honestly. I've really been loving the vibe of my weekly vlogs recently. I've been really like enjoying editing them, enjoying filming them and putting in a little bit more effort with them. I've just been super happy with the past few vlogs. I started editing last week's and I was just like, it's not hitting the way I want it to hit. Because you guys have had a couple of midweek videos this week, fingers crossed I got them both up. I was like, it's okay, they'll get a video on Tuesday. I'm sure they won't mind. Back with another weekly vlog today. I actually had a really lovely week last week. I just didn't film a whole lot of it I kind of had my head down I was getting on with stuff and just wasn't feeling particularly chatty and that happens sometimes sometimes I don't feel like chatting away to a camera sometimes I do just depends on the week I guess so I am going to insert the clips from last week here there's a few days worth please enjoy <laughs> Question. What do you put in your beef when you just did the beef? It has ketchup in it. Crispy beef? Oh, crispy beef. Just a few finely cut onions, really fine, as fine as you can go. Mm -hmm. Soften them and then throw in the beef, turn up the heat so and keep stirring it. Tomato puree. Mm -hmm. You can add a little bit of tomato ketchup and a few chili flakes it needs to be a very dry fry you don't want it to be just sort of stewing in its own juices and then if you throw that on some nice pasta it's wonderful i know i really like it when you make it but i haven't ever tried to make it before secret is in the crisp and put the tomato ketchup in quite late all right cool Thank you. Okay, all right, bye, bye. My dad always used to make this thing that he called crispy beef and it is so yummy. And he always made it look really easy. And I think it is easy, but I never normally cook beef. I don't know how to make it. So we're gonna try it. We're trying it together. So an onion, I'm doing half an onion because it's a massive onion. As fine as I can get it, he says, which for me isn't very fine. <laughs> If you can't tell, I'm trying to get back into my cooking era. Now I have an appetite again. So, Pa, I know you're watching. If I absolutely butcher this, then I'm sorry. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? I set the house on fire. You know, the usual. I'm meal prepping for the week. We 
We cook based off the feeling. However, I just realized I don't have tomato puree, so I'm gonna use the tiniest bit of this tomato and chili sauce. I'm barely gonna use any because it's literally a sauce and we don't want it to be saucy. It's meant to be dry. I'm gonna use like a tablespoon. And this is four portions, so I have lunch for the next four, next three days, today and the next three days done. I love meal prep, it makes my life so much easier. But it smells the same as when my dad does it, even with the different sauce, so I hope it tastes the same, because I really love my dad's. Doesn't look the most appetizing. I won't lie to you, this is a proper bodybuilding lunch. <laughs> I'm eating like Rob. <laughs> It's not crispy. I think I needed to cook it longer. My dad is the king of the thumbs up emoji. I think it's just a universal dad thing. If I sent a thumbs up emoji, it would be the most passive aggressive thing. I would never dare to just send a thumbs up. Blokes are so weird. A thumbs up emoji and that's it. That's all he sent me. I sent him a picture and he just... Good afternoon, everyone. It's hailing. I'm walking to the gym in the hail, which is why I look like this. I had a really productive morning. I've filmed two campaigns and edited them. So I feel really, really good about that. And now I'm gonna go and train back, except I came on my period. And I'm in so much pain. Speaking of pain, this hail is really starting to hurt. It's apparently nature's way of punishing me, my uterus, and also the weather. It's getting really heavy. Ow. Thursday. It's a lovely sunny morning this morning and I'm going to the gym to film my last part of my campaign with Nike. This is video number five that I filmed over the past two and a half week which is really exciting and Scar's helping me film. It is a workout video at the gym. I need to meet her in about an hour. However, when I get home from that I need to edit that and send it to them. But after that, I want to film my monthly favorites video today. And the background of my filming setup is so clapped. It's an absolute, it is like, it's genuinely so awful. So I think for the next half an hour, I'm going to tidy it up. And I also want to move around some furniture. Let's do it. This is currently what it looks like. This is what this wall looks like. Sofa is gonna go back here where it used to be. And then I'm gonna bring, oh, hit him. And then the mirror and the clothing rail, I think I'm gonna put here. Cause I also have a haul video that I wanna film and it'd be nice to have like a clothing rail in the background for it. I've been putting this off for like two weeks, but it needs to be done now. Cause it's making me not want to film and I need to film. So let's go. Play Spotify, things for haul. Oh. You wanna change my mind. I really, honestly, the only reason I wanted to do it is to cover this. I need to go meet Scarlett, but we'll revisit this. Tell me, did you know that you would be leaving me just like the winter snow? Tell me and be honest. Tell me, should I know that you'd be leaving me so painfully quiet and slow? It's a little bit of an improvement. Is it perfect? No, but it's better. I want to go on a hot girl walk, but I don't look or feel very hot girl. So I'm going to do the bare minimum to make myself feel a little bit more outside world appropriate. I filmed a video yesterday, but I still need to film the cutaway clips so that I don't forget which products I was talking about. I need to put them in a little basket so I can remember to do them. I've got to work with myself, not against myself. 
<laughs> Where's my hairbrush? The first thing I do when I want to look more put together, but I don't want to put in any effort, I slick back the hair. It's such a beautiful day. I've just submitted a piece of work. So I'm going to go and take maybe an hour, honestly, to go for a nice long walk. I'm not going to the gym this morning because I'm going to the gym this evening with Rob. And I think I'm basically going to be editing all day. Like I said, I filmed a video yesterday and I'd quite like to get that edited maybe up tonight. If not tonight, then early next week. So it's Friday today. I have to go through all my finances for Project Me this weekend because I've got a meeting with my dad on Monday and I'm very much not looking forward to it. So that's like a boring, crappy job I need to do this weekend. I'm taking my Friday. I've done my immediately necessary work already this morning and it's already 11.30. So I'm gonna call this walk my lunch break. I might go get myself a coffee or something. Maybe I could go and read in a coffee shop. Am I that girl? Am I that girl now? No, I don't think I'll ever be the cute, mysterious coffee shop girly, but I can try. A girl can try. Make myself look a little bit more like I have my shit together. It's all an illusion, cause I don't. <laughs> of course I don't. You know who we're talking about, right? Little old me, shit together. We don't know her. Shave my face. SPF on, my skin and me SPF, and then some bronzing drops just to give my skin a little bit of color because my face is a lot paler than my body at the moment. A little warm up. I'm gonna put a tiny, tiny little bit of a brow on, barely anything, just to add a bit of shape to my face. I got sent the new Precisely My Brow Detailer from Benefit. It's so fine, I am completely in love with it honestly i love it so much because i draw the front of my eyebrow on most natural looking brow pencil i've ever used it's absolutely changing the game for me i love it here we go just a tiny little bit more things are falling and it's perfect for these like no makeup makeup days because it's so fine it does just look like hairs rather than looking like you filled in your brow i've been using the got to be gel recently i just put it in a little tub because it makes it more sticky i like it because it's the only brow product that actually holds your brows that i can put on top of the pencil any other kind of brow wax you have to put it on before your skincare before you put on any brow pencil but this i just put on the very tips of the hairs and it really does just stick up and it really lasts and i've been really enjoying it i'm gonna put on a little bit of concealer just to cover any of my really, I've got a couple of aggressive breakouts because mother nature is not kind to me. So just any of my really obvious ones. And honestly, a little bit under my eyes because I am looking, look at this darkness. I just look so tired at the moment. Just a quick little buff. This is my problem once I start, I can't stop. So an eensy weensy little bit of hula. Improvement, right? <laughs> I'm ready, let's go for a walk. I'm blending with the sky. It's an offensively beautiful day, guys. It's stunning. I'm not gonna lie, I am absolutely sweating. My tits off, it's so warm. It is like spring today. I could genuinely cry. It's the most beautiful day. I put on an extra layer because I was like, oh, it looks, looks deceivingly cold outside. Like it looks sunny, but I reckon it's freezing. No. Your girl didn't need that extra layer on. I'm really sweating, but I am not complaining. I am one happy girl right now.
and we are back to today we are back to real time today may be another day i don't vlog so much <laughs> today is uh one of my least favorite kinds of days i'm doing finances today and i am anxious about it my dad's coming around to go through finances with me which is it's no secret i would rather like stick pins in my eyes than go through finances but i'm self-employed and i run a business two businesses so i have to 150 percent the worst part of being self-employed and running your own business i do not have a numerical financial business brain i am the creative i'm great with marketing i'm great with the creation but when it comes to the actual business side of things and making something a legitimate business that is where i struggle i am awful at it and unfortunately it's so important because otherwise i could be hemorrhaging money you know luckily my dad and my boyfriend are both very good with numbers so um my dad is coming and he is very kindly helping me with it but i don't want to do it i really don't i do i just don't want to do it i i just do not want to do it but i have to i don't do things that i don't want to do like if i don't want to do something usually i won't do it because i am in charge of my own life this is an example of me having to fight against everything in my body and actually do it i've tried to set myself up for a successful day. I had a shower, I got ready. I'm wearing comfies because if my brain's gonna be uncomfortable, my body might as well be comfortable. I'm gonna light some candles, make myself a cup of tea. I'm already drinking my monster. Hopefully it's not gonna take too long. I have written my to-do list for the whole week. I've broken down every day of the week and what I would like to achieve every day. Today is the one that's up in the air a little bit because I genuinely don't know how long this is gonna take, but I do really 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 want to go to the gym it's glute day i don't want to miss glute day so i'd really like to go to the gym i'd really really like to film a couple of um reels and tiktoks today because i'm trying to get back onto posting at least a tiktok or an instagram reel every day at the moment i'm trying to i'm not putting crazy amounts of pressure on it but i'm trying to manage all of my platforms i always struggle doing it so I'm trying to do it in a way that's less intimidating. So I want to like try and film two today. So I have one for today or tomorrow and then one for later on in the week, just trying to batch film them a little bit. Um, so I'd really like to try and do a couple of those today. I've got my step class at 7.30. I need to ring the clinic about vaccinations for the Philippines and get us booked in for those. I need to send some emails and do some like boring work as well. And also finish editing the video I'd like to post tomorrow. So I do have quite a lot I would like to do today. Basically all of that is riding on how long this takes. If I'm honest with myself, I don't think I'm gonna do half the things I'd like to get done today, but I'm gonna just see how the day goes. I'm gonna play it by ear. Because if I start stressing myself out, like I need to do all these other things whilst I'm trying to do something that's already stressing me out, then that's just a recipe for disaster. I'm just gonna say, today will be what it will be. My non-negotiable is this meeting with my dad and step, because those are two things that I've booked which involve other people. And hopefully I have five hours maybe in between those two things for me to go and go to the gym and do some work. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Play Fleetwood Mac on Spotify. This is Fleetwood Mac from Emma Johnson's Spotify. Let's go clear up the living room a little bit so we have a nice work environment. <laughs> hours later <laughs> my dad just left we've done it it's done big big job jobbed ticked i'm very relieved that that's done but i am feeling now completely like dead to the world i do have a big old to-do list and the first thing on the to-do list is to go to the gym movement creates energy movement creates energy Good morning, happy Tuesday. It is such a miserable day today. The weather has just been like 
so depressing this week compared to like the beautiful sunshine we were having last week it has been grim like it's properly like torrential downpours but i'm in the car i just got home from the gym i just did a really good back workout it's happened like i am loving my workouts i'm looking forward to them i'm not procrastinating them i'm getting up and i'm going the only days i'm slightly procrastinating are leg days because i hate leg day which is ironic because legs are my focus at the moment obviously but like upper body days are just such an ease i just love them not an ease is in there easy they're hard they hurt but they are easy to, for me to get up and go to you know so i'm just feeling really good feeling really good tick that off the list it's quite a lot later in the day than i'd hoped though it's nearly one o'clock i actually had a bit of a lion this morning i slept until nine which is un that's like proper sunday lion for me accidentally slept through three alarms the first one went off at 6 a.m second one went off at 6 30 and then my like emergency morning alarm is at seven and i slept completely through it for another two hours so clearly i needed the sleep so I'm not mad at myself for it and yesterday I had such a good day productive day with my dad going through the finances but it's done now and I feel so much better it's all I did yesterday I went to the gym afterwards and then went to step and that was basically my whole day I spent the whole day looking at a spreadsheet so now that's done and now I'm gonna go do the fun part I'm going to the office going to the studio to meet Scarlett and we're gonna pack some orders sorry I think I've been out of focus this whole time so sorry and potentially film a bit of um social media content for the shop as well I'm gonna go and enjoy my day with her and uh I've got an appointment in town straight after so I'm gonna drive straight there normally I would walk into town but it is so gross <laughs> so gross it's like proper 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 rain heavy hello happy sunday it's time for the sunday sign off the past couple of weeks have not been strong on the vlog front but next week and the following week are both fun vloggy things um i am going to scotland next week i'm gonna really try and get a video up for you guys next sunday but i'll be in scotland where there's very crappy wi-fi uh, so i'm gonna try and film monday through thursday enough to make a vlog for sunday and then the following week is gonna be a really lovely vlog of scotland we stay in the most beautiful house honestly it looks like a bond villain house it's stunning we're gonna go on hikes and relax and i think that my fitness update video for not next week the following week is going to be how i'm staying on track while away um when it comes to my training there's apparently a gym at the house since last time we stayed there they've added like a gym that makes me think of just like a treadmill and some yoga mats <laughs> i feel like it could be quite interesting i want to film a week of workouts for you guys to show you monday through sunday what i've been doing but i thought it could be quite interesting and maybe a bit helpful if you're going on holiday and you know that you're going to a hotel gym that doesn't have much equipment maybe it will be helpful i don't know my sd card filled up sorry but yeah lots of like vloggable things are coming up in the next couple of weeks but the past couple of weeks have been very very gym focused and filming focused um i just did a five day series on my instagram so i'm just yeah getting into the swing of things so i just haven't felt particularly chatty honestly about vlogging hopefully the next ones will be really really good <laughs> i hope so i just hope that the scotland vlog is just beautiful and aesthetic because I want to make the most of that house when i was there last time i don't think i vlogged it because we were there with my grandparents who obviously have now since passed um but that was the last time i went to scotland if you don't know that side my dad's side of the family is scottish my grandma was scottish scotland has a special place in my family's heart we love it there so we're going there for the first time without my grandparents and so we're, yeah we're staying in the same house and so last time um I didn't feel comfortable vlogging it really. This time I think I really want to make the most of this gorgeous house and show it to you guys because it's on Airbnb, it's stunning. And I'm excited to take Rob to Scotland, go on some hikes and just film some beautiful aesthetically pleasing clips, honestly. I'm really excited to edit the Scotland vlog. But yeah, thank you for watching you guys. I will see you next week. I've planned my videos for next week. I'm excited to film them and post them for you. I never say this, but if you aren't following me on Instagram or on TikTok, 
then please go and follow me there. There's more content there day to day. And also, if you've been watching this much or if you're currently binge watching my weekly vlogs and you haven't subscribed to me, then now is your time to subscribe. I would love to have you join us. Join me along for the ride of life. I am here basically every week. Uh, so if you want some company on a Sunday, I'm your girl. <laughs> so have a good one guys and I'll see you next week. Love you, bye.